So when we found out um, officially in January that uh, Levi was being diagnosed as on the autism spectrum, um, we we knew before we got there in our in our guts. But of course, um, when we I'm sure when we walked through the door, we both were praying for a miracle um, that we would have missed something um, along the way and that we'd find out that everything was just fine. Um, So the doctor came in and after an assessment with a few other doctors, um, she reported that they unanimously had said that he was uh, autistic, that he was on the autistic spectrum, the autism spectrum. And uh, it just becomes really real at that moment. Megan started crying and the doctor started crying. And uh, I think instantly you're left with more questions then about what happens next, about how severe his autism is going to be. And while they can't tell us that yet or exactly how it's going to manifest itself in the future, um, you do all of a sudden start projecting a future upon both him and our our family. I think the selfishly, you you have these ideas of what you think your family is going to look like and what your expectations are of what your relationship will be like with your son and the things you think you're going to do with them and the kinds of uh, adventures you're going to have. And, and for me, I, I, I'm a twin, and I, I have a fraternal twin brother as well, and and we've always been really close. And so the idea that Noah and Levi might not have that kind of a relationship uh, is something that is kind of heartbreaking. Um, it doesn't fall in line with the way that we saw it in our heads. And, of course, we don't know what's coming in the future, and we don't know how he's going to progress developmentally, but um, it's already different than we thought it was going to be. Watching Noah um, slowly over time stop trying to play with Levi in the way that he he did at first because he realizes that he's not going to play back in the same way that he wants him to. Um, That said, Noah's already acting like a bigger brother. He's already taking care of Levi in such a way that it's uh that's just it's really it's really nice to see and really we feel like almost like uh we're now three of us that are going to be helping Levi as opposed to just Megan and I um but I, I think one of the big things that all of this has done to my heart is make me realize that everybody that you know in your life um or that those that you don't know, people people you you look in on on Facebook and on Instagram and and Twitter, these lives that seem so perfect from the outside. Uh, everybody's going through the time of their lives. You know, everybody's got something pretty big happening under the surface that 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 doesn't show in their perfect little uh, representation of themselves online. And so it's a strange era to be living in. We have these these people's lives that we wish we had and we don't actually know the truth underneath them. And, and I'm sure in our, in our world, we have, um, we have all kinds of people seeing our pictures of our twin boys. And from a photo, you can't tell that Levi is autistic. And so everything seems perfect, but underneath it, we're crying and, and struggling with this new reality and trying to figure out how to, to help him and love him and, push out our own expectations of what we thought our life was going to look like. Noah's a very passionate and fearless kid. He, um, he's kind of a daddy's boy and he will be the first to try anything. Um, even, even if it means some pain involved, uh, he's constantly climbing new things, uh, jumping off of things. And he's very social. He loves other kids and um, he's got an instant friend anytime he finds someone. Uh, Levi is a lot more uh, reserved, more laid back. So when he does smile or when he does laugh, um, you really take notice. 
Um, he's such a, a warm personality. When he smiles, he lights up a room in a way that I've never seen. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a, almost a supernatural thing to see Levi laugh and smile. He, he's got this real pure joy. Um, Levi has a, a tendency to observe the world around him a little more. Um, you can see him taking it in. That's a, it's a strange time. I feel like it's made me really want to be close, uh, close with a few people and don't worry so much about having a million friends. <laughs> God is really teaching us a lot about ourselves through this experience about what we're capable of that we never thought we would be and uh, also about um, what's important um, that that people matter more than things and that the dreams that we have for ourselves are so petty compared to the plan that, that God has laid out for our lives and uh, in that we all of a sudden are taking some real joy some real peace in knowing that this is no accident, that this little boy is in our lives for a reason, and that hopefully through his life and through our life with him, we can touch other people. Um, we know that that this isn't ours, that we didn't ask for it, and, and at the same time, we don't want to give it back. Our, we have a new mission in life, you know? We have a new, we have new purpose. And while the things that we still love still exist the things that we enjoy the the passions and dreams that we have there's there's a new there's a new slice um that is very 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 much um the focus of megan's life these days uh, as she's caring for the boys on a daily basis while i work um it's very apparent when we get back together and our conversations have shifted um and in a good way from us to them to our boys 